my lovely people welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here and like what you see please consider subscribing if you have been here before thank you and welcome back today i am doing a perfume sampler this is one of the ones that i had purchased on one of my unboxing videos i brought like three samplers perfume samplers that i've never smelled before this is gonna be today's video comes like this i have five fragrances these are aaron's perfumes discovery set aaron's discovery set this one here is called rose de grass let's see I am so excited. Hopefully everyone is doing well. Have never smelled these before. Never even heard of these before to be honest. So Rose of Grass. I'm going to show y'all the original bottles up here somewhere of these perfumes. Mm, that smells very, very good. This um scent. It's, it's a floral, like a rich floral rose. Notes are Amber Seed, Rose Cantifolia, Rose Otto, Bulgarian, Rose Absolute, Ambresque, and Musk. It's, it's, it's given rose, a lot of rose, yes. Um, smells okay. I wouldn't say the best. And got my coffee beans on deck. <sighs> Did take away the scent for the next one. So yeah, this one's not my favorite. But um, these are supposed to be like, I believe it would be that are like luxury perfume. They're very expensive. This one here is called Mediterranean Honeysuckle. Interesting, right? Let's see. <clears throat> this one here like a floral fruity this one smells pretty good like this one a little bit more than I like the other one like I said you can't always go with the original spraying of the scent you gotta let it die down and see what it really smells like once it's settled Originally, at the original spray, it's not given what it's supposed to give yet until it's like 20 minutes later. Then that's kind of like the die down of the perfumes and that's the original set. But this one here is given definitely fruity and floral. The keynotes for this are Italian bergamot, honeysuckle, and grapefruit. Definitely, I could tell the grapefruit for sure. Fresh and floral. A good sense for the summertime. I believe this is definitely good sense for now, the summertime coming up. This one here is called I Cat Jasmine. I Cat. It's I K A T. So that's why I say I Cat. Maybe might, might, might not be pronouncing it right. Hmm. Mind you, these are all Eldad perfumes. This one here smells very sexy. I like this one the best so far. They all smell good, but this one here, definitely so far. Fresh is giving the fresh floral. Mm-hmm. Scent type is fresh floral. Key notes are Tuba Rose Fleur. Jasmine Egypt infusion and honeysuckle. This one smells very good. They are very luxurious perfumes. Different, you know, like they smell expensive. You want to smell expensive. They are expensive though too. Um, like I said, I'll put the bottles um, up here somewhere. They are a bit pricier than your normal perfumes though, but not like Creed or something like that. This one here is called Amber Musk. 
hands are slippery. Okay, let me replenish. Oh, this one smells so good. I thought the other one was my favorite. This one's definitely my favorite. So far, like I said, once they die down, it's different. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, that smells so good. This one is so, so good. I'll probably get this one if it still smells like this in the after 20 minutes. The scents are, this is the Oriental Amber, uh, Oriental Woody Amber. Oh my God, I like that. It's so different. Oof, yes. Notes are Ambrex. Coconut water, rose centifolia, Miguel, Miguel, like Miguel, but Miguel, Lincian, sandalwood, and musk. This right here, oh yes. Oh my God. This one here, yes. I gotta probably get this one. Oh, putting that one to the side. They smell so sexy and luxurious. This one here, the last one is called Cedar Violet. Cedar Violet. Let me replenish. Hmm. This one here, hmm, probably my least favorite so far. Yeah, this one's probably my least favorite. The scent for this one is Woody Floral. For some reason, not given. The notes for this one is New Gale, Violet Leaf, Golden Gardenia, Jasmine, Australian Album Sandalwood, never heard that scent before, and Virginia Cedarwood, Virginia Cedarwood. This one here is, smells, <sighs> smells good too, but no, not as good as the other ones. That last one, man. Oh, yes, that one. That last one, yes, that amber musk. This one here, no. Cedar violet, no. My least favorite. They all got kind of the same bottle shape, which you'll notice with all the favorites that I put them up here. They definitely all have the same bottle shapes, which are cute. But, yes, these are supposed to be more luxurious perfumes if you're looking to you know smell a little more expensive um different uh they all smell pretty good i'm glad i brought it I, I can't wait to like try it on throughout the day and see how i like it you know all day long on me because like i said before and i'll say it again never the same it's never the same when i spray it on to when it dies down and throughout the day there's you be like that may, you know, and then you realize it, it actually does smell good. Sometimes you like it less, sometimes you like it more, but 90% of the time I like it usually more the more I let it sit. So I'm hoping these are the same, but they all smelled it pretty good to me. Um, my favorites had to have been the Amber Musk. Only one I didn't like was the Cedar Violet. That was like my least favorite. But like I said, I'll try it later and see if, you know, get a little different opinion. But yes, that is my perfume sample for today. I want to thank y'all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.